My name is Nathan Eckerman. I'm Cole Eckerman. Uh, this is Lagatha, our 15-month-old English Mastiff. And this is Rue, our little Chihuahua mix. Well, you're a big guy. You don't feel weird carrying a little dog around? Oh, show them how you carry no, the dog. No, I don't know. You get, you get her in the crook, like this, you know? And yeah, she's oh, that's really, the way to do she's it. She's really relaxed she's right now. now. We, we say that if we ever opened up a pub, we would have to call it the gruntled <laughs> yeah. cheech. Because look at her. She's quite content with her life. Cute. What about uh, Lagatha? Uh, Lagatha? Lagatha was named after a Danish shield maiden Viking protector of her village. <laughs> so we liked the idea of a big dog that's going to protect our village. Who's that? This is Winchester. Winchester is your yeah. your previous dog. He was. He was amazing. He. I say that Winchester was the love of my life before I met my husband. Oh. We lost him last October. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's heartbreaking. It was real sudden. This is our family. These pets are our family, and you realize how special and how part of you they are. And I can see where Nathan and Cole are coming from. Well, tell me more about your house. Yeah. So this house is actually 1950s craftsman house. We're nerdy, but we also like nautical stuff because this is, you know, Seattle used to be a fishing town. The house used to end at that back wall over there. We've actually added the kitchen on. Our bathroom is pretty tiny. We've been talking about remodeling it for a while because it's a really small space. So we're always tripping over each other. As far as your issues you have going on with the girls, what, what do you have? The backyard is probably the biggest problem. We have standing water back there. This year was actually the rainiest year in Seattle's history. That has resulted in our backyard is totally infested with Giardia. So our puppy's gotten Giardia from the standing water out there probably like, what, four or five times? Yeah, so. Chunky Puppy had Giardia for four and a half months. It's left her gut kind of sensitive and, yeah. Yeah, so she can't even go out there now. So Giardia is no joke. It's a parasite that affects people and pets. Mostly it comes from standing water or eating contaminated grass. And young dogs like Lagatha are even more susceptible. All right, do you want to show me around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So this is kind of the dog's watering station and the human watering station. Nice. In addition to dogs, we really like wine. What? Wow, that's a lot of wine. This is mostly Washington wines in here. Wow, yeah. that's amazing. Looking at this wall, there's a lot of space used up for wine, but not a lot for Lagatha's bowl. I'm sure there's a better way to organize this. Oh, heads up. Yeah, with a dog like that, you're going to get a lot of drool. When you have jowls like that, it's like only a percentage of it makes it into the mouth. The rest of it just kind of pours out. But then you also get this. You do get that, too. Whoa. <laughs> right? Come on in here. Wait, I want to see how this works. Yep, it's a pretty tight fit. Oh, hey, Chunky Pup. How do you fit in here, Lagatha? You get the two of us trying to get ready in the morning and the dog. One of us is going to be bumping a neon. Yeah, I mean, I can see someone getting knocked out with a little brush in a tooth. And... It's, a, it's a delicate ordeal. So when you have a dog the size of Lagatha, getting her into the bathtub is really challenging. Yeah, we need a way to wash her. It's going to be easy for us just to walk her in, clip her in there, you know, and, and really wash her down. Oh, wow, man. It's pretty overgrown there. Yeah, we can't mow because the standing water. It's pretty gross. Oh, oh Lagatha, oh. you have to stand. It's Sorry, Lagatha. Uh, I hate leaving Lagatha behind. I know. It's really sad because it would be such a great yard, but she gets sick if she goes back here. The biggest problem for sure is this Jardia. It's the fact that it gets Lagatha sick. It's a shame that they can't enjoy this backyard with the whole family. OK, come on in. Oh, my god. <laughs> Welcome to the Gruntled Cheech. Oh my god, it's the Gruntled Cheech! <laughs> Winchester! <laughs> oh my gosh, look, there's a little room in Lagatha. This is incredible. Oh my gosh. One of my best friends from Philly did this, and he really captures the vibe. It's so nice that he's always going to be right there with us. Yeah. That's really special. Thank you so much. Yeah. See, I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are supposed to cry, not me. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Besides that, we got you this awesome new wine fridge. This is Lux. Hello, lover. And then you got your regular bar set up. We use this sapile <laughs> wood. We use a lot of boats. This will hold up, just oil it every once in a while, and it's good to go. Oh, awesome. this is awesome. And then before, Lagatha had that little bowl with a little bit of drool mess here. Now we made this huge drool catch. Look at this. All Ooh. stainless steel, pot filler. So when it comes time, we want to <gasps> Oh. Spill. The Juicy Moosey is going to love that. Juicy Moosey is all set for Juicy Moosey. The Gruntel Cheech is amazing. The Gruntel Cheech is in our house. <laughs> How long have we talked about wanting that we've always said if we started a bar, we would call it the Gruntel Cheech.
All right, this I'd like amazing. to show you the bathroom. Come on in. <gasps> oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, this is amazing! <laughs> this is incredible. Holy Hannah, this looks totally different. There's room for dancing. Yeah, we got, <laughs> hey, we're <you> dancing here. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. There's room for everything in here. Check out over here. Clamp ruin, clamp lag at the end. This will be so much easier than washing her in the sink. It's time for probably my favorite area. Oh, cool. Let's go check it out. All right, then. Ew, what did okay, they do here? here we go. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh, Whoa, my man. gosh, this is amazing. Oh, and look, look, look. So this is the outdoor bar for the gruntled sheets. <laughs> oh, my gosh, this, this is, is great. amazing. A little lounge over here. We got our little fire oh, pit bar. Wow. We took a wine barrel. Oh. Yeah. Made a cool cedar top and a uh, custom fire pit for you guys. This is so great, and it's up high. Well, that's yeah. the thing. It's safe for the pets. Before, this backyard was a mess. It wasn't healthy for you guys. It wasn't healthy for the pups. We dug in a French drain in the back, went down three feet, put in a perforated pipe so the water hits it uh -huh. and rolls right off. No more standing water, oh. fresh sod, fresh grass. Now it's time for the real test. Now it's time to show the dogs, Lagatha and Rue, the backyard. Release the hounds! Oh, come here, baby! Come oh. here! Come here, puppy! Oh. Come here, little Rue! Lagatha! Lagatha, you're allowed back here now. Come on! It was really funny when we first told Lagatha she could come out. She's standing at the top of the stairs and like, are you sure I'm not going to get in trouble for this? Chucky Bob! <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Oh. Look, you're allowed in the backyard! Oh, oh please! Hi. I think Lagatha and Rue are very happy. Rue is even more gruntled than she was before. Lagatha can't believe she can finally go into her yard. Oh, oh, she loves it. She loves the grass. Rue is so awesome. <gasps> What's this? It's like your own salad bar, Lagatha. That's oh. Really awesome. It was so great that they were able to find a nice plant balance that works for her IBS and will help calm her tummy down. Oh, this is so tasty. All right, let's see if they take it's some a more. It's new uh -oh. water dish. There you go. Look, it's just for you. Now that this work is complete, it's like a whole new house. Seeing Nathan and Cole's reaction, seeing the dogs roll around in the backyard, it's a great feel. It's a great payoff at the end. It's why we do what we do.